Hello everybody, this is Robert J. Simone coming to you from my fine art studio in sunny St. Petersburg, Florida. Today I'm presenting to you my most recent signature painting. This is Below the Surface. It's 18 inches by 24 inches oil on linen. You know, as an artist, I've always been attracted to coastal and marine subject matter. And the inspiration for this piece came while I was working on a plein air painting of a local landmark bridge. While I was working on that painting, I be began being attracted to some of the flotsam and jetsam at the water's edge right there at the base of the seawall. And as the tide ebbed and flowed, lots of interesting things were being revealed and then concealed once again and inspiration began to flow so I dropped my brushes and I started taking some reference photos and this painting is a result of those reference photos and that initial inspiration. It depicts what I think is the remnants of about a 75 year old dock that once stood at that location. It has for me the mystery of an archaeological dig. The painting also conjures up a very fond childhood memory and that's of, of the very first time I ever saw salt water. It was on a trip that my family took from our home in Ohio. We went to Massachusetts to visit a relative and we spent a day in the seaside harbor town of Marblehead. And as we walked along the seawall we came to a point where the, there were some stairs that um, went down to the rocks below and the tide was out and my brother and I climbed down those stairs and got on the rocks and looked into the seawater for the very first time and actually saw some little sea stars and some crabs and a lot of other interesting creatures and I must have been about eight years old it, and it's still such a very fond memory for me and this painting I think conveys some of that childhood curiosity and excitement that I had at seeing the salt water for the very first time. Painting also possesses my characteristic mosaic style of brushwork, which seen up close, the viewer enjoys the rhythmic, individually placed strokes. But when viewed from a distance, the painting tightens up a little bit and a more representational quality is evident. At the same time, I've been told this painting bridges the gap between contemporary and traditional, that the tonal quality and the depth of colors and the transparency of some of the paint passages used, it has a bit of a traditional quality to it but at the same time, the somewhat industrial subject matter gives it a contemporary quality. So I do really think it's a, a unique painting. Um, it's one I'm very, very proud of. You can find the painting available through my studios on my website at robertjsimone.com. So I have to ask you, do you own a Simone?